to, on the right to front right to art. Turk, uh, do you feel like feel like you guys did enough to generate enough offense to to win this game? No. <laughs> what? Why do you think they? <laughs> If you had an answer for it, right? They now. did a great job in the neutral zone. We, uh, you know, they collapsed pretty good in the D zone. They blocked a lot of shots. They did the right things to win a hockey game. They paid, you know, they paid a price to win tonight. So, other cool. questions for Gerard on the front left, Vince. Just to go, to go on that, it seems like they've gotten better every game. You know, you obviously first game went really well for you, but since then each game a little bit better for them. Are you sensing that they're building? And and can you give us some other things? That you I'm think not worried about them building them. Hoping it's going to be a homer series. And that's what it looks like so far. We were pretty good in their building. They're pretty good in their building. So that's what I see so far. And given what you guys have been through, you've been in worse situations than, than that. It seems like yeah. the guys are all pretty calm, feeling confident moving forward. Now. Well, they better be calm, but they better be ready to play harder. So that's the bottom line. Now it's a two out of three, and you know we still got the home ice, but uh, we got to play better. We'll stay on the front left for Larry. Yeah, let me just say that. that you're saying that they were willing to pay the price. Do you think that your team was willing to pay the price here tonight? Not enough. Not enough. We didn't block enough shots. We didn't finish enough hits. You know, the good things that make you win games, and that's what we got to do better. Yeah, well, do you think there was just a sense of desperation in Tampa's game, the, you know, at least tonight or the last two games, that you just were not able to match? Uh, no, not as much tonight as the first night. I, I mean, but we just didn't, like I said, the word pay the price. If we didn't get inside enough, I mean, Vasilevsky, Made some good save, but he didn't have to make enough good save, you know. Not near as many as had to make. And uh, like I said, when you give him, I don't know how many chances. We had quality chances, five or six probably. And you got to get a lot more than that in a hockey game. Over to Art in the front right. Strom couldn't go. Phil went out, you know. Yeah. Goodrow's playing with what, you know, that's that's a lot of your centers right there. Does that did that kind of hurt you a little bit tonight? Well, you, know? you don't make excuses because that's playoff hockey. But, uh, no, you definitely missed Strom tonight, obviously. And. You know, he's day-to-day. -day. Hopefully, he's ready for go, go Thursday night. And then uh, Phil left the well, second period, I think. So, you know, he should be fine. But we'll have to wait and see again. So, Stay doesn't doesn't help when you're missing centerman, but it's part of the game. Stay on the front right to Greg. The, the, the guys, when they were in here, did seem pretty confident that going back home was going to be beneficial. And I was wondering, from your position, do you, do you have to be cautious as a coach that they're just going to assume that it's going to go better, or is assuming that it's going to no, go better? No, no. I mean, we're a good home team. We've, what are we, eight and one in the playoffs so far, and we've done a good job at home. And I think if you look around the league, a lot of teams play a lot better in their home building. So we expect to play well. I mean, I'm disappointed tonight. I'm sure they are. But, you know, it's best two out of three. We still got the home ice advantage. So, you know, we've got to make sure we're ready for the next game. The next one's a real big one. All right, we'll go uh, mid left to Colin. Uh, Gerard, you uh, you changed up the lines there. It's the second uh, second period. Um, what do you what are you looking for when you put Panarin and and uh, and Mika together? What 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 do you think is they're going to be able to do? Uh, change them up. I changed them up all year, Colin. You've seen that. And uh, when things aren't going the way I like them to go, you hope to get a little spark. Sometimes didn't work great tonight, but that's what a coach does. Sometimes it works real good. Sometimes it's fair, and sometimes it doesn't work at all. So. I tried something. Right side to Mark. Brad, you, uh, you talked talk to us before the game about trying to get off to a quick start. You mentioned the first period. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you guys seem to be on the back foot most of the way there. What did you see there, and how disappointing was that not to get it? Well, I don't think it was an awful first period. I don't think it was a good first period by no means. But again, we're playing against a pretty good hockey team that was pretty desperate again tonight. They were down two games to one. So, you know, you got to give them some credit, too. We'll go to Andrew, center left. You've touched a little bit on this in different ways, but specifically five on five. Is that more on you to generate more five on five or are the Lightning really doing a good job of taking away well, time and space? Well, I'm not a big stats guy, but I think we've done pretty well in the playoffs. Five and five, haven't we, Molly? I think we're five or six goals above and they're, we're a better team than they are five and five in the playoffs. So what do you want me to say? You know, I heard that all year long. Yeah, <laughs> you read the papers in New York. 